Hi there everyone, it's been a while since my last video. Hello to all of you who are watching. Today I'm going to talk about Huawei devices that don't have GMS. One thing that makes people think twice in buying Huawei products nowadays, especially uh, for tablets and smartphones, is the lack of GMS. So I have a Huawei MatePad 10.4. Alright, so in this tablet, there's no Play Store. You can download uh, some applications like Facebook and other applications that are available from uh, Huawei App Gallery. But unfortunately, a lot of applications don't work properly. Uh, in this video, I will show you how to make GMS works on a Huawei device. So stay tuned and let's get into it. Alright, the first thing is we download GSpace from Huawei App Gallery. It's now available here. So, there. There it is. That's the GSpace. So, we're going to install it. Why are there still a lot of people buying Huawei devices, tablets? Well, for me, my personal reason is I, uh, I read a lot, so this is very useful for me since the, it has a bigger screen, screen and it's very portable. I can bring it anywhere without any uh, hassle. Uh, my second reason is that I, uh, I was actually hoping that uh, Huawei is going to resolve the issue with G Harmony o OS but I heard that GMS is still missing. Let's proceed on to this. So the G space has been installed. Let's run start. And just allow everything. Continue. Now, to install it, just press the application and then, as you can see here, it will bring you to the Google Play Store. Alright, so that means in the inside the GSpace Play Store, our Google Play Store is available. So just sign in with your credentials. Okay, it may be detected as P30 Pro, Huawei Mate 30, uh, 20. it's so far so good all right that's the Google services all right we successfully sign in now let's install YouTube okay while installing YouTube I will show you that this 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 tablet by default has YouTube all right it's inside here so I've already installed it YouTube doesn't work flawlessly. Alright, there. So, this this one is play, uh, playing. I can play some videos. But the problem is, it, it wouldn't allow me to upload any videos. So, that's not good. As you can see, there's a network error here. Although, it says here that I'm uh, logged in. See? But it doesn't bring me to my account. So you're gonna see my account here. So this one doesn't work properly. Alright, let's see if the YouTube has been installed now. Alright, so let's try if this one would work. Let's open. Alright, it automatically log in my uh, Gmail account here as you can see there's no problem so I can see 
all my videos that I've uploaded here on this account. Now, let's try if we can be able to upload any videos. Uh, let's try to play. Alright, so there's no problem playing videos here. I'll try if I can upload any video. So once you click this plus sign here, it will direct you to this, uh, this page where you can record, go live. And all of these here are the videos available in your device. Uh, let me choose this one. So when I made this um, from Kini master application or it's it's a subscribe button okay oh okay it's 100 percent process now so all right yeah it, it has been uploaded so youtube is working policy in this inside the G space okay. there's another way to go to the Play Store so for example the one you uh, we we've already installed just long press it then go to upgrade okay so this is now the Play Store okay all right there's another trick all right uh, show you I have here an old notepad application sorry okay I save a lot of notes here very important notes and I want these notes in my tablet too okay so what I did I uh, installed this notepad to this Huawei tablet but for some reason it's not working to I'm getting a Google Play services error so it, it, it's telling me that I cannot uh, restore my notes from this tablet because Google Play services is missing okay so this is the notepad all right, let me show you. So here, if I click the preferences, there's an option here to restore. Let me try. Okay, you see the error? Okay. So how to make it work? Go to Google Space again, and then click this plus sign. What we need to do is just look for that notepad. So this, uh, this is the notepad. And then we have to clone it. Alright. So that, that's it. Notepad is there now. Let's uh, make a shortcut. Alright. Alright, so here we go. That's the notepad. Let's try it here. Okay, so skip this. Alright, let me try to restore the backup notes. Okay, restore. Alright, so... Oh, it says here it, it has been restored completely. Let's see if the notes are now available. Okay! Ah, so... That's how you can make it work. Uh, I think a very important question here is if you're going to clone the application, does, does it fill your uh, storage up? Okay, I have a I have a, an NBA 2K20 here. So this one I'm also getting uh, a Google Play Services error whenever I run it. I'll do the same thing just clone the application okay 
Oh, let, let's check the stories first before we clone it. Alright, it says here that it's, uh, 57 gigabytes is used out of 64 gig. Let's see if this is going to change once we clone the application. Um, NBA is around 2 gig. So let's clone it. Plus sign. Let's find the application. NBA 2K20. That's it. Ticket. And then clone it. Alright. So let's see if it's now here. All right, that's that's the NBA 2K20. Let's make a shortcut. Add. Let's see if it's going to run. All right, there's no problem. It's running properly. I'm not getting any Google Play Services error. Okay, now let's check if it did fill up the storage okay see all right so it's still the same thing so it, it, it doesn't fill up the storage no need to worry about that all right so guys i hope you uh, enjoyed this video i hope you can uh, uh, run any application that you really need badly on your Huawei device and I hope this video helps you please help me reach your 1000 subscribers uh, please also like and subscribe to my channel if, you, if this video helps if you have any question you can drop down your comments below I would gladly answer all your questions Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you again in the next video. Bye.